The mask modifier allows you to hide vertices of an object based on vertex groups. I'll select the first plane and tab into edit mode. Under the object data properties panel, I'll select all of the vertices and add a vertex group. After I rename the vertex group, I assign the vertex group to the plane. In object mode, I can now add a mask modifier. I select the vertex group I just assigned to the plane. When I change the threshold from 0 to 1, notice that the plane disappears. There are a couple of ways that you can use the mask modifier to only hide part of an object. I select the second plane. In edit mode, I assign only one half of the plane to a vertex group. Back in object mode, I add a mask modifier and choose the vertex group. Notice that now the half of the plane that is not part of the vertex group is hidden. If I use the threshold amount, I can also hide the other half of the plane. If I want the other half of the plane to be visible instead, I can simply invert the mask. Now when I use the threshold amount, I can make the first half that I selected appear. Note that the smooth feature will allow you to more smoothly hide and unhide the vertices. There is also an option of using weight paints to select vertices. I select the third plane and add a vertex group to the entire plane. I then add the mask modifier. In weight paint mode, notice that the entire plane is red. This means that the entire plane is being affected by the vertex group. I now paint part of the plane using a weight of 0.1. Back in object mode, notice that the part of the plane I painted is now masked out based on the weight paint. There is a way to more smoothly do this with weight paints. I select the fourth plane and add a vertex group and mask modifier. Back in white paint mode, I select the gradient brush and paint a diagonal gradient on the plane. Then back in object mode, I can now have a more gradual masking based upon the weight painting.